Good evening and welcome to Doordarshan Kendra Kohima. I'm Ila Susan with the news. First, the headlines. Governor Lago Nissan says it is important to realize and acknowledge the crucial role of the youth. Protests in Parliament continued today as opposition members demand a discussion on the security breach in Lokasabha. Senior BJP leader Bhajan Lal Sharma takes oath as Chief Minister of Rajasthan in Jaipur. And the nation pays homage to Iron Man of India Sarda Vallabhai, Vallabhai Patel on his death anniversary. And now the news in detail. Governor Laganesan today graced the state-level Yuva Yutsaf uh, Naglin at the Indira Gandhi Stadium, Kohima. The program was jointly organized by Department of Youth Resources and Sports and Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangathan in Nagaland. As part of the Yuva Utsav Cultural Festival, photography, painting and young writers competition were held which was participated by various districts of Nagaland. Addressing as a special guest, Governor Laganesan said that this year Utsav celebrates the Panch Pran, the five vows which serve as the driving force for the country's journey towards becoming a developed nation by the year 2047. The vows are to achieve the goal of a developed India, to pledge to eliminate every remnant of the colonial mindset, to take pride in our rich heritage and legacy, to foster unity and solidarity, and lastly, to commit to a renewed sense of duty among citizens. The governor stated that India is a nation of young citizens and old history, so it is important to realize and acknowledge the crucial role of the youth. The governor also encouraged all the participants to perform with all their heart and let the Utsav be a stage where their aspirations take flight in contributing to the uh, aspiration of creating a vibrant, inclusive and a developed India. Rokoviko Chale, accounts and uh, program assistant of the Nehru Yuva Kendra Sangatan, gave an introduction to Yuva Utsav. That means a developed for India. adjourned within a minute of resuming as the opposition protested and some members entered the well of the house with placards. Rajya Sabha members were able to lay papers on the table but protests broke out as soon as Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar refused to admit notices under Rule 267 to discuss the December 13 security breach. Even in the second half of the day, the upper house had barely reconvened when protests started building up again and Chairman Dhankar adjourned the Rajya Sabha for the day. Union Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, Prala Joshi, addressing members in the lower house, asked members to not politicize the issue. However, as opposition MPs continue to protest, MPs including DMK's Kanimuri and Congress's Manikam Tagore were suspended. Five Congress MPs, TM Prataban, Ramya Ra Haridas, S. Jyotimani, Dean Kuryakosh and Hibi Eden were suspended for the same. Delhi police has filed terrorism charges under the stringent UAPA against four people arrested after two of them jumped into the Lok Sabha chamber and set off smoke, smoke canisters in a major security breach inside parliament that also led to the suspension of eight Delhi police personnel.
The intrusion on the anniversary of the 2001 terrorist attack on Parliament sparked questions about laxity in security. The Delhi Police's special cell has detained two more people in connection with the Parliament security breach on Wednesday involving two intruders, intruders who, who jumped into Lok Sabha from the visitors' gallery and sprayed smoke in a major security breach. The intrusion on the anniversary of the 2001 terrorist attack on Parliament sparked questions about laxity in security. The two, identified by their first names Mahesh and Kailash, were detained after Lalit Jha, 35, a resident of Kolkata, the fifth accused in the case described as a co-conspirator, surrendered to police late on Thursday. Four of the accused arrested earlier in the case, Sagar Sharma and Manuranjan D, who cleared three layers of security before jumping from the visitor's gallery and spraying smoke inside the Lok Sabha and Amol Shinde and Neelam Singh, who shouted slogans outside parliament, were remanded to police custody for seven days on Thursday. <laughs> हम सदन चलाने ना देंगे इनका स्टेटमेंट इनका स्टेटमेंट है क्या ये सेंसिटिव मामला है दे शुड अंडरस्टैंड इट दे शुड बिहेव रिस्पांसिबल पहले दिन ही स्पीकर महोदय ने कहा था कि सचिवालय जो हमारा लोकसभा का सचिवालय है उसकी जिम्मेदारी है पार्लियामेंट के अंदर सिक्योरिटी की और उन्होंने सभी पार्टी के नेताओं को बुलाकर बातचीत भी की उनके और सुझाव लेने के लिए भी तैयार हैं उसमें कुछ बदलाव करना तो उसके लिए भी वो तैयार हैं लेकिन उसके लिए सदन ना चलने दें अगर विपक्ष के पास सुझाव है तो ऑल पार्टी मीटिंग में आके सुझाव दें अगर उनको कुछ और बदलाव करने हैं तो वो भी लिखित रूप में दें या वहां पे करें सदन की कार्रवाई को रोकना बीजेपी लीडर भजन सिंह शर्मा वॉज स्वर्न इन एज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ राजस्थान इन जयपुर टूडे Governor Kalraj Mishra administered the oath of office and secrecy to Sharma. BJP leaders Diya Kumari and Prem Chand Baiwa also took oath as deputy chief ministers. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Home Minister Amit Shah and BJP National President JP Nada attended the ceremony. Apart from them, union ministers and chief ministers and deputy chief ministers of several BJP ruled states also attended the event. <laughs> मैं राजस्थान राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में अपने कर्तव्यों का श्रद्धापूर्वक शुद्ध अंतकरण से निर्वहन करूंगा तथा मैं भय या पक्षपात अनुराग या द्वेष के बिना सभी प्रकार के लोगों के प्रति संविधान और विधि के अनुसार न्याय करूंगा मैं 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 डॉक्टर प्रेमचंद बैरवा ईश्वर की शपथ लेता हूं कि मैं विधि द्वारा स्थापित भारत के संविधान के प्रति सच्ची श्रद्धा और निष्ठा रखूंगा मैं भारत की प्रभुता और अखंडता अक्षुण रखूंगा मैं राजस्थान राज्य के उप मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में अपने कर्तव्यों का श्रद्धापूर्वक और शुद्ध अंत्यकरण से निर्वहन करूंगा तथा मैं भय या पक्षपात अनुराग या द्वेष के बिना सभी प्रकार के लोगों के प्रति संविधान और विधि के अनुसार न्याय मैं मैं दिया कुमारी ईश्वर की शपथ लेती हूँ कि मैं विधि द्वारा स्थापित भारत के संविधान के प्रति सच्ची श्रद्धा Housing and Urban Affairs Minister Hardeep Singh Puri has said India will put a man on the moon before 2040. Addressing the media in New Delhi, Hardeep Singh Puri said that the Gaganyaan project envisages a uh, demonstration of human space flight capability. He said that the India space sector has made massive strides in the last nine years. Puri said that India is on the way to expand its global space economy, share from 2 to 10 percent, adding that India's space economy stands at $8 billion and is expected to reach $100 billion in the coming decade. 
He said about 51 spacecraft missions have been launched post-2014. Puri also said that the um, effort of the government is to apply advanced space technology to various developmental projects including PM Awas Yojana, PM Gram Sadak Yojana and Jio uh, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Talking about the significance of innovation, Puri said there are over 195 startups spearheaded by young people in the space sector. He shared that India stands fifth among the space faring countries in the world. He said that there is a need to create an ecosystem of growth along with budgetary suppo support for holistic development of this sector. <laughs> You are one of the four countries in the world which has done a moon landing, and that on the South Pole, you're the first. And look at the technological, the scientific knowledge, the evidence of water and all those things which are emanating from. Today posted Trinamool Congress leaders Mahua Moitra's petition against the expulsion from in Parliament for hearing on January the 3rd, 2024. Justice Sanjeev Khanna, presiding over a two-judge bench, bench that took up the matter, said the files had only come to him in the morning and he had only five minutes to scan through it. Justice Khanna added that he, quote unquote, would like to go through the plea as there are many facts which need to be looked into. Senior advocate Harish Salve told the bench also comprising Justice SVN Bhatti that he had filed an impeachment application in the matter on behalf of Lok Sabha uh, MP Nishikant Dubey on whose complaint an inquiry was initiated against Moitra. Moitra was expelled from the Lok Sabha after the House adopted its Ethics Committee's report that held her guilty of indulging in unethical con conduct and committing serious misdemeanors and recommended her expulsion. फाइल ठीक से नहीं देखी है और बेंच सर्दियों की छुट्टी के बाद जैसे ही बैठेगी इस पर सुनवाई की जाएगी सुप्रीम कोर्ट की सर्दियों की छुट्टी 3 जनवरी को खत्म हो रही है The nation is paying homage to Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel on his death anniversary today fondly known as the Iron Man of India Sardar Patel brought together more than 500 princely states in India. He served as the first Deputy Prime Minister of India and also held the home portfolio. Paying tributes to Sardar Patel, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said his visionary leadership and unwavering commitment to the nation's unity laid the foundations of modern India. He added that his exemplary work guides towards building a stronger, more united country. Home Minister Amit Shah and Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur also paid tributes to the visionary leader. And now let's take a look at the weather reports of the district headquarters of Nagaland. Kohima today recorded a maximum temperature of 17 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 7 degrees Celsius, while Dimapur had a maximum temperature of 22 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. Woka experienced a maximum temperature of 17 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. Mokokchung had a maximum temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 8 degrees Celsius. Mon had a maximum temperature of 21 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. Towards the east, Twinsang had a maximum temperature of 13 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. Zinabuto had a maximum temperature of 18 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 7 degrees Celsius. Pak had a maximum temperature of 12 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 6 degrees Celsius. That's all for the weather report. To end news, here's a recap of our top stories. Without more lag and is unfair, it is important to realize and acknowledge the crucial Protests in Parliament continued today as opposition members demand a discussion on the security breach in Brussels. Senior BJP leader Bhajan Lal Sharma 
takes oath as Chief Minister of Rajasthan in Jaipur. To Iron Man of India, Sardar Vallabhai Patel on his death anniversary. And with this, we have come to the end of this news bulletin. Have a good evening.